And well guys, if you follow my channel, you know that I don't really like to rely much on rumors and make videos about them. But this time we do have some really interesting data from Micron. So it is not a rumor, it's actual data maybe cherry-picked data, of course, but data. data. And these might actually be the first RTX 5090 benchmarks. And once again, they were not leaked, they were nothing, they're from Micron. And, and, you, and you might think, well, it doesn't say RTX 5090 anywhere. But at the same time, you know that GDDR7 will be in the 5090, and the first cards to be released would be, will be the 5090, 5080, and 5070 Ti, I believe. And as Micron states, we have elevating gaming performance and then we have several other things like for example up to 3.1 times improvement over today's GDDR6 applications and the 1.5 improvement over the best-in-class GDDR6X applications and the best-in-class GDDR6X is the 4090 and I believe that in these benchmarks that we have here that Micron presented Micron by the way if you don't know they make the memory chips for VRAM for RAM normal RAM and so on and we do have ray tracing benchmarks at 1080p 1440p and 4k of course I believe that these are kind of averages from their tests normalized FPS and then we have rasterization and I believe that we do have here the GDDR6X platform since they are talking about the best in class so we are sure that it is the 4090 and if we're talking about um at least let's say from 2.1 times faster to 3. times 3.1 times faster then this is supposed to be the the rx 7900 xtx maybe which would be the best in class gddr6 one and to have this big difference from the 4090 it needs to be the 5090 and not the 5080 or the the, the 5070 ti and just because of that i'm gonna leave you with today's sponsor Today's sponsor is Maximum Settings, a cloud-based gaming service where you won't need to spend thousands of dollars to upgrade your PC or a personal nuclear plant to boot up your system. Just do it! For as low as 9.95 Canadian dollars a month, you can play the most recent games on your computer even if your hardware isn't prepared. And now with increased performance and reduced latency thanks to the bare metal technology. And believe me, I tested it and it runs very well. Sign up today for your full Linux gaming PC with no resource sharing and start enjoying high-level gaming on any PC. And in this case, when using ray tracing, uh, we can see that it might be uh, XTX and then 4090 because it is 60% faster, up to 1.6 times faster at 1080p, up to 1.9 times faster at 1440p and 2.1 times faster at 4, at 4k so it does seem it does seem like xtx and 1490 because in terms of ray tracing yes the 1490 can be up to two two times faster or sometimes even more than that if we're talking for example about path tracing and that shows even more because if we go to rasterization at 1080p ultra first of all the the md gpus are known to perform better at lower resolutions because they have lower cpu overhead so in most scenarios, they will perform better than the NVIDIA cards, especially with slower CPUs. In this scenario, you can see that the XTX is really close to the 4090, only like a 10% difference. And that happens. And that happens because once again, we are at 1080p and we do have a CPU bottleneck. And since the MD cards in some games, even the, the XTX is even faster than the 4090 at 1080p because of the drivers overhead in the NVIDIA drivers. So yeah, drivers overhead in the NVIDIA drivers. Now at 1440p, the difference is only 10% as well, but in this scenario, the 5090 actually seems to get more performance from 1.2 times, times over the XTX to 1.4 times over the XTX at, at 1440p, so it does make the difference. As we go to 4K in terms of rasterization only, we have the, um, the 4090 being around 20% uh, faster in their tests, of course, 20% faster than the XTX, which seems about right, 20-25% in rasterization, and when we go to 4K ray tracing, once again, the 4090 is 2.1 times faster than the XTX, and the 5090 is 3.1 times faster than the XTX. So, once again, these might actually be the first RTX 5090 results, and 
Take this with a grain of salt, of course, but I'm pretty sure that this is the 5090, this is the 4090, and this one is the XTX, because once again, they're talking about um, today's GDDR6 applications and best-in-class GDDR6. So if they're talking about the best-in-class GDDR6X, they're most likely talking about the best-in-class GDDR6 as well. That makes sense. And even if they weren't, uh, we would we would need to go to like, let's say RTX 14, 4070 in order to have the, the normal uh, GDDR6 or even lower than that. And in those scenarios, the, the rasterization wouldn't even be close to the 4090. So it does make sense that it is in fact XDX, 4090 and 5090. And then we have some comments, for example, um, saying decent uplift could be around 1.6 times or 1.7 times faster than average. Gonna have to wait and see. Yes, we all have to wait and see. Then we have can't expect less for circa 24,000 CUDA cores. Yeah, 24,000 CUDA cores is a lot. But will 5080 achieve more ray tracing performance than 4090 with 80, 84 SM count? Maybe, if the ray tracing improvement is well considerable, no idea about RT cores count, no idea about RT cores count, but since the reported SM count is so less, I don't expect more FPS than the 4090. Yeah, the difference in, in, the difference in SM count, which is basically the computer units from AMD, for the AMD side, uh, the SM count is definitely different, and the 4090 has much, much more SMs than the, um, than the, the 4080 and the 4080 Super, of course, and indeed, if we do have uh, such a difference in between the, the 5080 in terms of SM counts and 4090, even if the, the 5080 cores are much, much better in terms of ray tracing performance, they will most likely be equal in terms of ray tracing performance, with the 4080 being maybe slightly faster in terms of other things, like um, frame generation delivering more FPS, um, upscaling not losing as many FPS, uh, for example, Let's see, ray tracing of course performing better or equal, rasterization also performing better, well, we have to wait and see. And well, overall there's not really much more to say, but what I wanted to show you with this video and to analyze it in this video is the difference that we have here, especially in ray tracing, because if this comes to be true, this is massive. Three times the performance in ray tracing of the XTX it is not... Well, in terms of ray tracing, it is impressive, but, but what impresses me the most is how they are actually going 1.7 times the rasterization performance of the XTX. Re the XTX is a rasterization monster, and we're talking about 70, 70% 70 over the XTX in rasterization. And this seems really, really bad for AMD. It seems really bad for AMD because if the rumors are true and they are not releasing a high-end card, they're just sticking with XTX performance with better ray tracing, we're talking about a, a card that will perform 70 to 80% faster in rasterization, which will make anyone that wants to play at higher frame rates pick a 5080 or a 5090 in this case, because we're talking about almost double the frame rates, and in this case we're talking about, even if, if ray tracing is definitely improved, according to this, we would have at least two, two times faster performance in ray tracing, and for people wanting the most they can get out of a computer, yeah, NVIDIA would be the only choice. So this seems really, really bad for AMD, if true. But I believe that it seems really, really uh, close to what we'll get. 1.7 times at 4K over the XTX, 70%, and 3.1 times in terms of ray tracing slash path tracing. Yeah, that's a lot. And well, guys, that's pretty much for today's video. Let me know what you think about the performance charts that we have here from Micron. If you think these cards are in fact XTX, 4090 and 5090, if you think they aren't or if you think they're not, if these early, very early results are to be trusted, since they're from Micron, but at least they are, they are real results, uh, not made up, not rumors, not anything, just let me know in the comment section what you think, because I really want to know your opinion and see how we can get or what will what will we get from this yeah <laughs> i mean i'm just really 3.1 times faster that's insane anyway thank you very much for watching don't forget once again comment and see you in the next video guys damn son <laughs> cheers